ABS-CBN. It is a commercial TV station and network in the Philippines, being the first and oldest in the country and one of the oldest in Asia, eight months after NHK and almost two months after NTV was launched. ABS-CBN was launched on October 23, 1953, which is now inactive after the government forced the network to shut down operations. However, some of their programs took over by Kapamilya Channel, which served as the interim replacement of the ABS-CBN terrestrial network. Tracing back to its origin, ABS-CBN Corporation, first known as Bulinao Electronics Corporation, was founded on June 13, 1946 by James Lindenberg. BEC's intention was to establish a TV station as he became the first to apply a TV license to the Congress by 1949, which was granted a year later. However, due to lack of raw materials and quote, strict import control, instead of establishing a TV station, Lindenberg shifted BEC to radio broadcasting and launched DZBC AM in 1950. Judge Antonio Quirino, the brother of then-president of the Philippines, Elpidio Quirino, formed a partnership with Lindenberg in an effort for BEC to launch a TV station, led Quirino to buy stocks from BEC later on, and have BEC to change the name to Alto Broadcasting System, with Alto Sales Corporation as the corporate name. Uh, wait a minute. If my video from Ident Radio is anything to go by, not to mention there's no mention about this in Wikipedia, then Bulino Broadcasting should exist, right? Stress on radio programming tailor made to the needs of its audience, ABS CBN, through its forerunner, Molinao Broadcasting. Anyway, prior to the launch of their TV station, ABS first started their test broadcast on September of 1953 and to formally launch DZAQ TV on Channel 3 a month later on October 23, which became the first in the Philippines. On the other hand, the Manila Chronicle, owned by Eugenio Lopez Sr. and former Vice President Fernando Lopez, also applied for a radio TV franchise, which was granted and signed by then President Ramon Magsaysay and to establish the Chronicle Broadcasting Network on September 24, 1956. However, TV wasn't their main focus yet, as CBN was initially focused for radio broadcasting, hence the radio station DZXL AM also launched at the same year. By 1957, CBN acquired ABS from Judge Quirino, also mentioned on the contract, was to revert their corporate name from ABS, or ASC for that matter, to Bolinao Electronics Corporation. With the launch of DCXL TV on Channel 9, CBN now have full control over the two stations under the corporate name of BEC. Eventually, the two companies later merged and the name ABS-CBN would be made official as their channel branding by 1961. As early as 1963, DZAQ-TV conducted their test color broadcast for Channel 3, which later began broadcasting in color on select shows, starting in 1966. The Sari Manuk was used at the same year to identify color broadcast, similar to NBC's Larry Me Peacock. The abs name would later reflect for their corporate name, and it would change once again from BEC to abs Broadcasting Corporation on February 1, 1967. Some changes would appear to the two stations as DZAQ TV was transferred from Channel 3 to Channel 2 as well as DZXL TV from Channel 9 to Channel 4 in response to some adjustments as Kanlaon Broadcasting System, now known as RPN, was launched a month earlier on October 15 and occupied Channel 9 under the call sign DZKB TV. Two days after martial law was declared in the Philippines, ABS-CBN, along with other TV stations and networks, was forced to shut down on September 23, 1972, and the Channel 2 and 4 would ultimately be replaced by other TV stations, which were controlled under the Marcos regime. Channel 2, with the call sign DZAQ TV changed to DWWX TV, was occupied by the Banaho Broadcasting Corporation, while Channel 4, with DZXL TV, also changed to DWGT TV was occupied by the government television or GTV, now known as PTV. Banao Broadcasting Corporation, or simply BBC2, not to be confused with the other BBC2, was launched on November 4, 1973, completely different from its forerunner ABS-CBN with different logo and slogan. BBC2, which later known as CT2 Television, became the first in the Philippines to feature Scanimit system for their station identity and promos, two years before RPN also used the system. Five years after martial law officially ended, 
and after Marcos was exiled, ABS-CBN went back on the air on September 14, 1986 along with the slogan, Watch Us, Do It Again. ABS-CBN would later introduce one of their iconic symbols and dub the network as the Star Network on March of 1987. This is ABS-CBN. You're on Channel 2, DWWX-TV in Metro Manila, the Star Network which later replaces yet another iconic symbol for the network, known as the Sarimonok, introduced in 1993. By the new millennium, year 2000, ABS-CBN entirely revamped their logo with the introduction of their new station ID featuring the ABS-CBN Millennium Overture theme. The corporate name ABS-CBN Broadcasting Corporation, which have been the name since 1967, would later change by dropping the word broadcasting into just ABS-CBN Corporation. Ten years later, the National Telecommunications Commission or NTC issued a cease and desist order to the network following the expiration of the network's license to operate or simply their franchise, forced ABS-CBN to shut down operations by the evening of May 5, 2020. The second time ABS-CBN went off the air since martial law in 1972. But just over a month later, Kapamilya Channel was launched via cable and satellite, served as a replacement of the ABS-CBN terrestrial network and in order for all the productions from then ABS-CBN to resume operations. Within the same year, an acquisition between ABS-CBN and Zoe Broadcasting Network was established for a block time agreement and to launch A to Z Channel 11. Ito ang ATZ Channel 11. And also, a partnership between TV5 and ABS-CBN was also established in order for some of the programs that weren't able to air on A2Z and some shows from Kapamilya Channel to be aired and simulcasted on TV5. Broadcast City 2. This is ABS-CBN. You're on Channel 2, DWWX-TV in Metro Manila, the Star Network. This is ABS-CBN on Nationwide Satellite Broadcast in the service of the Philippines.
is ABS-CBN, the most admired broadcasting network in Asia, in the service of the Filipino worldwide. Ito po ang ABS-CBN. Patuloy na naglilingkod sa sambayan ng Pilipino sa ikasandaang taon ng kauna-unahang republika sa buong Asia at sa pagsalubong ng bansa sa bagong siglo. This is ABS-CBN. In the service of the Filipino worldwide. ABS-CBN, in the service of the Filipino Worldwide. Kahit saan magkita, kapamilya forever! 